I think that obviously, you know, I have, there's a certain amount of discipline that that's involved with staying sober. Um, okay. There's maintenance, you know, there's, there's all that. So in a way, in a way we're very similar to, to fighters because we're fighting and we, we have to stay in shape and we have to stay sharp and we, we can't rest, you know, we got to, and we're, con- you know, we're sparring every day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I have a lot of respect for addicts and alcoholics, that, especially ones that are able to stay sober. Yeah. Um, it's tremendous to, it, it's not only is it a gift and it's rare because the majority of us don't make it. Um, yeah. but it's when you're, it's when you're around recovery long enough to see some of your friends go mm-hmm. and see people, you know, go and you realize, Whoa, this isn't like, and I remember, I remember my first me, my first few months in, 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 in Alcoholics Anonymous, some of my trudging buddies, I remember one of them going on a slip and I remember it was devastating. I think I was three months sober and like, Hey, did you hear so-and-so went out last night? I'm like, what? And I remember it's just like, <gasps> it was, yeah. I, it shook me. And yeah. now it'd be like, yeah, okay. I, I yeah, I saw that coming, <laughs> but yeah. it's, it's when that first starts happening or when you're fr- like, I had a sponsor who, 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 my first sponsor meant the world to me. He went out with one of his sponsees uh, and I was about three or four months sober. Wow. And I remember it was like, holy shit, what do I do now? Yeah. Um, but I, you know, the, the rest of the group was there to, to carry me and, and, and I was okay, but it was, it was scary shit. And, yeah. but it's when somebody, you know, dies. Yeah. Yeah. It's when somebody, you know, dies. And, and I had that before, before I got sober, before I came into the rooms, I had a friend of mine that died in a drinking and driving accident and he killed a whole family. He hit somebody head on and there was a family in the car and killed them. And then he killed himself. And uh, the guy that was in the car with him, the passenger, passenger seat lived. Wow. And that was, I remember that happening probably about three or four months before, maybe, maybe less before I stopped. And I remember like a couple of weeks later, we were all drinking and driving again. Like all yeah. of us, not, like all my, my friend group, it didn't, it, we were upset, but you know, and it just, it was that, that, you know, having a friend here and then the next day he's not here. And now, you know, I have so many people that I've known over the years. Just recently was the anniversary of a friend of mine that died two years ago. Um, they found him in his apartment. You know, they, he, he, this guy was such a talent, another broadcaster, talented guy, funny, you know, good looking guy, funny, um, like just talented, man. And everybody loved him. Everybody loved this guy. Couldn't get his shit together. Yeah. He was in a major market, left, went to a secondary, third, mar- you know, tertiary market. And then kind of lost touch with him. I would talk to him every once in a while and he would always try to get it together, but I knew he was, he wasn't, he wasn't there. And, and then I got the word that, yeah, they found him um, New Year's mm-hmm. day. Like he didn't show up for his shift and someone from the radio station went and called him, knocked on his apartment door, his car was there. And then they'd started putting two and two together. And then I was like, yep. And that, you know, it's devastating, but it's the reality. And that's what I got to remember is that this fucking disease wants me dead. Yeah. There's no, there's no if, ands, or buts about that for me. I know that this disease wants me dead. That's the disease I have. Yeah. And if I don't take care, that could be me. This is the Knocking Doors Down podcast featuring celebrities, experts, and everyday people who have overcome adversities, including addiction, mental health, and trauma to live purposeful lives. And that's what Knocking Doors Down is all about.